This video is made for adult collectors because no, 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 no. I'm not going to get deep into the controversy of these two because I already did that kind of in the skids video, which if you want to know more, you can just go watch that. I'll link it below. But for the time being, these two are not going to be getting Studio Series toys for obvious reason, at least for now. And I do have to do this, though. Whatever you think on the situation, wherever you are on the twins being for or against them, keep it civil in the comments. Parents and moviegoers found them to be offensive, so they were removed from things like Dark of the Moon. If you don't have a problem with them, sure, whatever. But I kind of do, and I don't like what they did, so there's that. And no, someone started a rumor that said that they say the N-word in the film. They don't. The script is literally online. You can go read this shit for yourself. Now with all that crap out of the way, I'm starting an ice cream truck mode because it's the better of the three. Yeah, three. Shout out to my buddy JJ for sending this my way as sort of like a gag gift thing. It was actually quite funny. This is an actually cool looking ice cream truck or ice cream van, depending on where you live. Like they nailed the shaping and the colors. The white matching works very well and the pink just pops. It looks like it's yellowed, but it isn't because it's sort of like an off cream colored white. And it actually like it fits the motif of being an old timey car. Like I'll have to give the designers props for that because they made this work and it's two robots. People do struggle with getting the hood down and yeah, that's an issue on this dude. The spring in Skids' head is so strong that it pushes the hood up. So the way I've gotten it to work is you pull the bumper down, push the grill in all the way, and then pull the hood ornament up, then fold the hood down and clip it all around and together, and then it stays in place quite well. But I really do love this little alt mode. It's so nice. It doesn't really scale super well with Studio Series and alt mode, but that's not... Scale wasn't a thing back then. Like, it wasn't a big thing back then anyways. It's the robots that scale well, which I'll show you in a sec. There is no weapon storage, because, well, there's no weapons. They, they, he, I mean, what is it? They had grappling hooks and guns in the film, but, like, the toy here never came with any of those. Oh, well, I guess. I mean, I don't really care that much. I don't like these two anyways. So, on to the robot. Um, so, light's buzzing. I can hear it. Um, I'm sitting here, right, doing this, and, um, I just want to bid on Bai for this thing. And I'm actually looking forward to this thing. Uh, that'll be neat. I'm working on their next video, so like that's that's gonna be fun. Anyways, this is a very interesting concept that I kind of wish that they would do more in Transformers, just not with these two morons because it's these two morons. But it's a very interesting transformation because you start by doing that, but you have the two halves of the ice cream truck. That there is actually a scene of them driving like this in the film that was in like the IMAX cut that was then removed from every other piece of like thing and. My friend and I have not been able to find, like, that piece of footage anywhere. But if anyone knows where I can find that, that scene of them driving next to each other like this, please let me know, because I want to see that. But, because I never did. But yeah, they do that in the film. Anyways, we'll get Skids out of the way first, because he's the easiest. He's, they're all, they're both shell formers. So you just, like, pull stuff out of other stuff. Watch, as soon as I start full, yep, there it goes. <laughs> there goes the head. You just sort of, like, fold everything around. He's very panel-y. And annoying. Uh, see, you gotta like rotate the waist halfway to get the arms out, and then even then they get stuck on their own tabs. There we go. Then just shift it up, move that around, and it comes right off. That's a thing that it'll do too, quite often actually. But once we get that all spun around, and fold this up, twist this, and just bring it down, and that's that's him. That's him. Oh, that's him done. Yay, he's done. He's, he's gonna just, you know what? He'll mess with the autofocus. Let's get to, oh, I dropped it. Let's get to Mudflap because he's probably the most involved and interesting one of the two simply because he does more. <laughs> he is more of the alt mode. Like he's a lot more of the alt mode. So you just like pull these sections and like open them up like that. There we go. Then you bring his hands out, bring him out, bring these around. These do something really cool. These do something very cool. Let's just split this and bring the torso down and click it in. So these back pieces, right, rotate around and swing all the way forward to form 
that little like distinctive split section that Mudflap has on his chest, which I think is a very cool use of parts. I think I, I'm going to commend the figure on that. These, I'm not 100% sure how they're supposed to work because like the instructions say one thing and then the official pictures say another thing and then people's configurations say something even more different. So what I do is I simply just leave them there and don't care because regardless of how you put them, he will look like an idiot. And if you stand him up straight, so, well, he's not gonna fall, wow, he's not gonna fall, there we go, now he falls over. Let's lean him forward. But there's, there's, there's Mudflap and there's Skids. They're both idiots. These look horrible. Like genuinely, it's just kibble. Skids is tiny as hell. Mudflap is wearing most of his alt mode on his back. But hey, they scale with Studio Series now, so that should appease the people who want them, I guess. Like genuinely, the aftermarket price these two fetch is not nearly worth it. Like at all. I don't have him anymore, but Studio Series Devastator, these are like a very, very almost perfect size for Studio Series Devastator. Like it works surprisingly well. They can't even stand properly though. Their feet are so poorly designed that they keep falling over. Skids are too small. And you'd think Mudflap with his large feet would be able to stand, but if you stand him up straight, he just falls over because he's got no heels. You gotta like bow his knees in a bit and shift his hips forward. I do like how the back of the truck, as I said, swings forward to become the front of Mudflap. Skids though has nothing interesting happening on him. He's just a mess of panels. And their posing is, is so much pain just in these two Scout class toys. So Skids' articulation is, well, well they're both quite limited. Um, the head is on a ball joint. However, because of the spring loaded thing it's on, it makes it very difficult to pose. And then these do not stop moving. Shoulders don't rotate, they, they go out that far. Uh, the arm can go forward that far, it can go back that far. It cannot go in and out any other way. You got a bicep rotation. You do have an elbow bend that only bends that far. Same with the others. It's the same on the other side, except this one has like the hand that goes on a hinge because they do that whole big hand thing. He does have a waist joint, which is nice. Hips can go forward. They can't go back unless you move the bumper out of the way. Then they go back, then go in and out. You have a below the knee swivel, so it, it swivels there. Pain. Oh. Oh, he does technically have an ab crunch. And then he has ankle pivot and foot rotation. So not great. That's just, there's no way to, oh, okay, whatever. He's not great. Mudflap, head is on a ball joint as well. Uh, so you can get pretty much any sort of range you want from that. These can move out of the way and move in and out. He's got like spring loaded butterfly joints, I guess. Uh, shoulders are on ball joints. They can go in and out. He's got a dedicated bicep rotation on both arms. Elbow bends on both arms. You got this little wrist thingy. His colors really do mess with the autofocus. Let's just turn that off. Nothing at the waist. Hips can go forward. They they can go back if you move all this crap out of the way. Below the knee swivel again, knee bend and toe tilt. So he's not the most posable of the two. Like I'd say Skids probably has more. Stand up straight. Okay, there he goes. Stand up. Stand up, man. Like look at look at the amount of crap hanging off of skids same with mud flap like it's a lot and it really hamper and it really hampers that articulation will you stand you can just lie on your face because you died anyways so yeah no still no i don't recommend them unless you're dying for studio series scale toys but as these toys aren't very good eh. They will be staying in ice cream truck mode for me because that's just, you know, whatever. They're just going to sit there. I'll get the Hunt for the Decepticons one for that shelf and I'll have those in robot mode, I guess. But yeah, they're not fun. They're interesting, but not interesting in a good way. They, they interest you for a little bit and then you never want to pick them up again. So if you pay like $100 or $75 for these things, I, I that's way too much. 30 is like the max I would go for something like this because that's how much I paid for my original one like a couple years ago when I bought it. It's, they're just not fun. They're, they're a headache. They're, they're just a head, they were a headache on screen and they're a headache here. <laughs> but that's been my look at Skids and Mudflap, the ice cream truck version. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Also again, as caution, Mark, please don't block me on Instagram <laughs> for Skids and Mudflap content. <laughs> oh, pain.